Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slicky here on Daybreak, and I've got two great guests in studio talking about the Family Health Awareness Event at Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics. It's Saturday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo from 8 to 1. And on the air with me, Melissa Strong and Marcia Stauffer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming on with me. Thanks for having us. Again, this has uh, uh, become an annual tradition. And starting last year, the focus really uh, encompassed uh, more uh, with the kids and uh, males, uh, in addition to the women's uh, screenings that we've been doing uh, for a, quite a while now at Mason General Hospital. So talk to me a little bit about this event again on May 5th from 8 to 1. Uh, for folks who are just finding out about this for the first time, what can they expect to see? What can they expect to uh, participate in and learn? Well, it is a community event. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have several vendors from the community. Um, we are going to have a fire truck for the kids to be able to look through. Fun. We, um, you walk up, there will be a giant inflatable colon for colon awareness and education. Okay. Uh, there is a kitty corner where we're going to be doing face painting and balloons and button making, which was a big hit last mm -hmm. year. Marcia. <laughs> um, as that? always, we'll be offering the mammograms, um, free mammograms for those who qualify um, for uninsured and underinsured women. Um, the breast and the breast can I'm sorry, the breast. I can't think of what's called because it's sunny outside. <laughs> The, the Karen Hilburn Foundation is one of them. That helps yes, and, and the breast, colon, and cervical health program. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we'll be um, helping pay for those mammoths as well. Very nice. Very nice. So you will get covered. So it's for um, women 40 and over are supposed to get screened. So if you haven't gotten screened yet, please come in because that's really um, key. Early detection um, really does save lives. Let's talk about what uh, is available for the men there again as folks are bringing out, uh, uh, ladies have been coming to this event for years and uh, just last year uh, started with more information for the guys uh, so they don't have to sit in the car or whatever while this is happening. They can come in and get some more information. Don't sit in the car. Don't sit in the car. Yeah, we're going to have a men's health awareness table as well. Um, one of our physician's assistants is pretty passionate about it, so he'll be there talking about what men can do for preventative screenings it's not just about the women okay prostate cancer prostate is a, cancer men's a, breast cancer is is big and under it's a rare thing still it is but rare. But, but the prostate cancer rare. pretty much equals um, yeah. breast cancer as far as um how how prevalent it is yeah that's what i've been hearing lately for sure the other thing that we talked about is uh we're, before we started recording the uh, vision screenings for kids, and that's mm -hmm. very important to uh, get them on the right path and determine early on whether or not their vision may be blurried and it's not just them with sleepy eyes or something like that. This is a really important deal. Yeah, yeah well, kid, a... kids think that that's normal if they see blurry. They don't know that there's, you know, a difference. So this vision screening is very important, very important. for the kids because they can't really articulate articulate whether they can see or sure. not because they, they no, don't know. They don't know. It's always blurry. Then it's always been blurry. Mm -hmm. Very important. So it is on uh, Cinco de Mayo on Saturday, May 5th from 8 to 1, still at the south entrance, the main entrance there? Yes. And um, we'll have free refreshments. Everything's free. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this actually kicks off our hospital week as well as our 50th birthday dun, for Mason dun. General Hospital. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of balloons. We're going to have some 50th anniversary cupcakes. cupcakes. <laughs> so <laughs> you need to come. Is there a lot planned for hospital week? I mean, in correlation, that 50th anniversary, it's got to be just a big party up there you guys have worked so hard over the years expanding mm -hmm. your families and clinics and bringing in new voices uh, in and mm -hmm. I know Eric Mall the CEO does a great job there and so that's going to be a fun week up at the hospital that will be a fun week we usually have a big employee barbecue on Wednesday just to kind of say thank you to all the employees for all their hard work and yeah it's a big it's a big week for us fun well, yeah. it's been a long time coming and a lot of hard work put into the folks at Mason General Hospital. Kicks off 
on Saturday, May 5th, 8 to 1 at the Family Health Awareness event. Uh, so come on. Additionally, if you are uh, without health insurance now, you can sign up for that with the uh, Washington Health Plan Finder and then also learn how My Mason Health works with that 24 access to records if you need them or somebody needs to access them uh, for you if you're anywhere around the world. And we have virtual care as well. Oh, virtual care. Yeah. How's mm -hmm. that coming about? How's that working? That's an awesome thing. It's a very awesome have thing, and I it? think it's underutilized. No, but several people I know have I used it. I have used it. it. So you, yeah. have, you have your your phone or whatever, your laptop. It's got the FaceTime or, or video you can conferencing. Use a, for your phone, you can use your cell phone. You can use um, your computer. Um, but I did it over my cell phone. And I had a sore throat. I was worried about it being strep throat. And um, the doctor um, over my phone had me take a picture of my <laughs> throat. Mm -hmm. And um, oh. he said, you know what? You don't have anything to worry about. It'll be, you know, healed or over with in like three days. And it was. But it saved me a trip. Yeah. And... Yeah, they, they can prescribe some medications too, like antibiotics. So it really saves a trip to the doctor, and I think it's thirty thirty five dollars. Yeah, That's it's a great, great deal. Much cheaper than because a he wants to go to the doctor visit. when you're not yeah, feeling right. well. He's stay in bed. It's kind of mm -hmm. like house calls. <laughs> it is kind of like house calls. Good peace of mind too. Yeah, mm -hmm. to answer your questions. Very cool. I'm glad to hear that. Melissa, Marsha, good to see you as well, and we'll see you up at the Hanley Health Awareness uh, event that starts Saturday, May 5th, 8 to 1, kicking off a fun week, hospital week, and Yay. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinic's 50th anniversary. Yes. Well, thanks for coming on. Thanks Thank for having you. us.